Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Texas Brew and Barbecue. Today's video is brought to you by Rectech, because I'm your official backyard ambassador for Rectech. Today we are doing beer brats, okay? It's a very simple cook, and I'm doing this on the RT 1250. It's the 1250. We added the 1250 to the Rectech uh, arsenal back here, and I gotta say, it is phenomenal. Um, for more information on the 1250, go to rectech.com, check it out, do a side-by-side -side comparison and find out which smoker is right for you, especially if you're in the market for a pellet grill. I highly recommend the 1250. Second shelf, put a lot of food on there. It's a, it's a great smoker. It's one of my favorites right now. All right, we are gonna jump into the beer brat. You're gonna need two ingredients, three, four ingredients. Onions, thinly sliced, put in the bottom of this aluminum pan, done. Beer brats, and I'm gonna rub, and I'm gonna put uh, Ron Screaming Pig rub in the beer bath. The onions in the beer, this is where I'm gonna add the rub. I'm not gonna put it on the brats itself, I'm just gonna add it to the beer, um, the beer bath, all right? We are also going to be making these beautiful brats in eight beer. If you're outside of Texas, I'm so sorry, you can't get this yet. But all my Texans, go to your local grocery store, whatever they sell, your favorite beers, and pick up a 12 pack of eight. This is a great lager. So when it comes to beer brats, you hear a lot of different things on what kind of beer to use. Use a dark beer, use an IPA, use a light beer. I like a light lager, and the reason I do that is because you wanna pick the beer that you really enjoy the flavor of, because that flavor is gonna get into those brats. I don't like IPAs because they will leave a bitter taste inside the brat. I'm not a fan of bitter taste. So the 1250 is at 400 degrees and we are going to start the process. You wanna make sure that your smoker is preheated. I'm gonna pour probably three of these beers inside this pan. Go ahead and add one more. Now that we got the beer in the pan, Ron's screaming pig rub. Go ahead and add that in there. So now that we have the beer, onions, we're gonna take our brats. We're gonna just put them right there inside the pan. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do now that we have them in here, we're gonna cover these things in foil and we're gonna put them directly on the, on the smoker until they reach a boil. Once they start boiling, then we're gonna let them simmer for about 15 minutes. This whole process will take 30 minutes total, but make sure, if you're not sure how to cook these, make sure you get an instant read thermometer and probe the brats. You want a 160 internal. That's a safe brat right there, okay? Let's get them on the smoker. We'll come check on these in about 15 minutes. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these brats out of the beer bath and we're gonna put them directly on the grates and we're gonna grill them up. You're gonna want these to go for about uh, four or five minutes aside. Wish I would've taken that, that shelf out, but I didn't. So we're gonna let those grill for about four or five minutes. We'll flip them in between, and then we're gonna be making a brat dog. Is it a brat dog? I guess we'll make a brat dog. Gotta go with spicy mustard. Spicy mustard, relish, sauerkraut, onions, 
The only way to dress up a beer brought spicy mustard and the onions that were boiling in that beer. Here we go, guys. Damn, that's good. Oh my gosh. That's a good beer brought. Sorry, I'm doing this again. That's a damn good beer brought. Until the next video, guys, cheers.